there's also it's a start because you, you can you can uh, juggle the, the process, the temperature process temperature, to favour oil or gas or charcoal, and th there's the potential for an international industry in in um, international trade in bio oil. Now that could be refined as we lose petrochemicals. Petrochemicals are actually actually costing as much as the energy that we, we're using. The, the, the plastics are, and resins are waste products of oil that they discovered on the way. So, so on one hand they need to be replaced, but on the other hand the potential is there to produce it from wood. <laughs> you know, it's, um, it's very doable. I mean, I've, uh, um, like I was looking at a chemical. What, one yeah, it's, it's the pace of um, work that's intriguing. I came read about a um, process for low temperature pyrolysis. It's basically a pressure cooker, and that's catalyzed by citric acid. <laughs> now, citric acid could be grown from molasses, and molasses was grown from was produced from wood. Now. Um, yeah the, yeah, the Allies made a very good job of depriving Hitler of oil. So he was producing his fuel, a lot of his fuel from coal. Um, but they also that they were using wood um, to power vehicles sometimes. Right. Um, but they're also turning wood into um, uh, digesting it, I think, with acid to produce molasses. And they'd add, yeah, they were feeding it to animals. They didn't do well, but they survived on this molasses derived from wood. Mm. So that molasses could be used to feed grebes to produce the citric acid. So there's a whole chain of yeah. industries that we, it, they, I, yeah, I think it'll it'll happen by accident that all the, um, people will see opportunities to use someone else's waste and um, and turn and, into a product. Yeah. And replace the petrochemicals. So it, it's. I the, guess the, the only danger with that is that people start using sort of productive land that, that food could be grown on. So it's, it's yeah. keeping it in the. Yeah, well, that, that's Monbiot's problem that this is a recipe for starvation, but not if you're using agricultural and forestry wastes. Yeah. Which we even ourselves. Yeah, we, we've got a lot of, like just over the hill there's the, there's the Topany um, forest. Yeah. And um, oh, they, they when they cut their when they trim the trees, um, that that's it's perfect kindling for fire. For, no, if, if they leave it lying around, um, they could take out the whole forest. So and also it's blocking culverts. It's a it's a jolly nuisance for the council. It blocks the culvert and then the roads gets washed out. So what I'm hoping is that they'll. Um, charge less than nothing for their waste wood. <laughs> well, you, do, yeah, you could be doing them a service, yeah. though, so they, they make Absolutely, sure they yes. Yeah, yeah. Fi f you know, fireproofing and, um, and and cleaning up and getting a buck. Mm. Yeah, and a lot of this stuff here, like you don't need, um, when we've got the tomatoes, the, no, the plants could be pyrolyzed. Um, corn stovers. Yeah, it, it doesn't have to be, no, there's this... I think President Bush is giving biofuel a bad name by... Um, because it's corn. Because it's... Yeah, it's, it's they're turning food into... Um, yeah. it's, he's got... Yeah, he's, uh, he's got... It's got nothing to do with climate change. It's just mm. handouts to, yeah. to the agribusiness. Yeah, but that's... Yeah, it's just industrialisation mm. Yeah, but this this would be the opposite. This, this would be small scale. I think it has to be small scale and yeah. local, and a big local employer. Oh, the soil feels warm. I'm just wondering if that. Um, it must be heating. It was black. Absolutely, and it'll be in winter. In the in the summer, it'll be covered in growth, yeah. and, and well, of course, we'd want to mulch it as well around here, because the soil gets so dry, waterlogged in winter, um, and cracked in summer. So we we chuck mulch. Around the around the trees and plants, in in summer, and so it doesn't get hot. And in the winter, yes, lovely and warm feet. 